Our email accounts contain lots of information about ourselves and that information just might fall into the wrong hands. Now, we all use our email addresses when we sign up for bank accounts, we do online purchases, and we actually communicate with one another via email. Now, the only thing that's keeping hackers at bay is by the strength of our passwords. Stick around, guys, and I'm going to show you how you can actually set up another layer of security if you're using Gmail as your email service provider. Welcome back guys and thanks for sticking around. Now, no matter how complex our passwords are, they're not foolproof. Now, hackers have cracking tools and other tools at their disposal to get access to our accounts. That's when two-factor authentication comes in handy because it prevents hackers from getting in even when they've gotten our passwords. Now, two-factor authentication makes the login process a lot more challenging for hackers by adding another layer of security to your normal username and password combination. Now, what is the second factor? Now, that second factor is actually something we all have, and that's a mobile device. So, essentially, if the hacker tries to log into your account with your password from an unknown device or browser, the system is actually gonna demand a second verification. Now, unless that hacker has access to your mobile device, that hacker cannot proceed. And so, essentially, your account remains secure. So, here is how you can turn on Gmail's two-factor authentication. Log into your account and click on your name in the upper right corner of the screen. In the resulting menu dropdown, click on Account to access the account settings page. Now under security, there's an option for two-step verification. Click on edit to start the sign up process. The step-by-step -step setup process guides you through the process of associating a mobile number to your account. Essentially, when someone logs into your account from an unknown browser or device, Google's going to send a challenge code to your mobile device via SMS. Now, you're going to need to enter that code on the screen to be able to log in. That's it. I hope you find this information useful and I hope you decide to take advantage of this extra layer of security to help keep your email accounts more secure. Until next time, I'm Darnell Lee Sin and I'll see you guys in the next video.